Welcome to Golden Software's video training for Surfer. Surfer is a versatile gridding, contouring, and surface mapping software package. In this video, I will cover how to open and edit Surfer's attribute table and how to query attributes contained in a base layer. The attribute table makes it easy to view all attributes, make bulk changes like deleting or entering new data, and adding new fields. To open the attribute table, select the base layer in the Contents window, Click Map Tools, Layer Tools, Open Attribute Table. The attribute table is opened. This is a modal window, so you can leave it open as you work in Surfer, and you can have multiple of these open at any time if you have multiple base map layers. In this table, the first column displays the object name, and the header row displays the attribute name. The attribute for a particular object can be found by following the object row over until it meets the attribute column. The attribute table can be sorted numerically or alphabetically by clicking on the header of a row or column. If an object is selected in the plot window or contents window, its row in the attribute table is highlighted in blue. The attributes in the attribute table are also linked to the attributes on the info page in the properties window. So editing, adding, or deleting an attribute in the attribute table updates what you see on the info page and vice versa. At the top of the attribute table is a toolbar. In the first section, we have tools to edit the attribute table. We can add a field, delete a field, or rename a field. All of these options can also be found by right-clicking over what you'd like to edit. You can press Ctrl-Z or click Home, Undo, Undo Attribute Change from the Surfer window to undo changes made in the Attribute table. Next, we have the option to insert or paste into the Attribute table. Click Save to save the attribute to a text file format, such as Excel file formats, BAT file, or CSV. Click Add Geometry Attributes to add a new attribute field to each object for the spatial or geometric characteristics. In the Add Geometry Attributes dialog, you will see real-world units listed if your map object is assigned a coordinate system with linear units, such as UTM, or state plane. If your map is in spherical units, such as latitude-longitude, linear units and area unit fields will be inactive. If you do not have a coordinate system assigned to your map, you will see page or local as your options. In this example, our map is in UTM, so the length and area units we see are kilometers. Change the length units or area units by clicking over the existing selection and choosing a new unit. Select the desired geometry attributes and click OK. The new columns are appended to the end. The next button in the toolbar is the Calculate Attributes button. Use this tool to fill the cells by entering a calculation expression. Use the fields and functions to auto-populate the expression field. Click the Join Attributes button to import attributes from another data file. This file could be a text file such as an Excel spreadsheet or a vector file format, such as Shapefile or DXF. The attribute tables must share at least one attribute in common to complete the join. For example, I can import updated emissions data from the attributes in a CSV file using the column containing the station name from my existing base map and the new file. Set the Join File Attribute and Layer File Attribute to the Shared Attribute. At the bottom of the dialog, choose how to handle duplicate fields. Click OK to join the attributes. All of the attributes from the selected data file will be added at the end of the table. Click the Query Objects button to run a query on the selected base layer. This opens the Query dialog, which can also be found through the ribbon. We'll cover how to use the Query dialog next. 
Click the Find button to find or replace the attributes for a specific word, character, or value. When finished editing attributes, close the attribute table by clicking the X in the upper right-hand corner. Update all the object names in the base layer using a column from the attribute table on the General tab of the Properties window by changing the attribute for object to your desired column. Click Reset to revert object names back to the selected attribute table column after making manual changes to the object names. To access the query dialog through the ribbon, select the layer you'd like to query and click Map Tools, Layer Tools, Query Objects. The Query tool performs a query on the objects in a base layer by object type and attribute values. The left pane displays the objects contained in the base layer. Our base layer contains an image, multiple points, and polygons. If there were polylines, we'd see that listed as an option as well. All closed shapes, such as rectangles, are included as polygon. On the right side, fill out the conditions for the query. As these sections are filled in, the query field is automatically populated with the query string. For example, we can use the provided fields to select all points with an emissions value of greater than 1 million. Now that the query field is filled out, we have the option to make our query case sensitive or allow wildcard characters. Below is the operation field. The operation field allows you to select the desired action for the objects returned by the query. You have the choice to create a new selection, add to current selection, remove from current selection, select from current selection, copy to new layer, move to new layer, export to file. Click OK to run the query. We can then apply specific properties to just those points. This concludes the video training for advanced editing of base map objects in Surfer. If you have any additional questions, please contact Golden Software.